lovelies, and Asia here on the Time Shot server, and today I'm going to be working on making some sort of spawn house, just getting started. I know this is my fourth episode, but uh, with all the events going on and everything, when I first got on here, I actually haven't even started uh, finding a place or anything like that, so we're going to do that today. So I'm looking at the map, and I've been trying to decide, like, what area to go to for now, because I kind of want to stay close to spawn. So I'm thinking we'll check out this area over here, and then maybe down here, and see what's going on in those areas, see if maybe that's something we might be interested in settling somewhere that we might be interested in settling. Let me go ahead and go in here. Uh, Huck and others gave me some supplies already, so I've actually got a lot of good stuff already that'll get me started. Like all this armor, even some tools already. Yeah, it's gonna be super handy for getting kind of a quick start in a way. Um, so let's go ahead and gather our things and then we'll head over past the dome and see what's off in that direction. I am hoping to maybe find like a little mountain of sorts. I don't know if there's anything like that nearby here, um, but maybe. Whoops, I think we're supposed to go this way. I'm still learning my way around this server. Um, obviously I'm still very new, so you'll have to bear with me if I get lost a little bit along the way, but really enjoyed being here so far. Had a lot of fun playing with other people on the server. <laughs> Hi chicken. Hi chicky chicky. Uh, okay, so that's Huck's place over there, which is a really nice mountain spot. And that's Zession's there, who is no longer here. Oh, I see. Okay, so I thought maybe this was a mountain, and I was like, hey, maybe I could settle on that mountain. But I see that that's actually his place up there already. So let's go ahead and circle back down here. Kind of check out this area down here. There might be might be some space. Alright, I found a mountain out here, but it's a little bit further from spawn than I wanted to be for my first little starter place. So we're actually going to head back, and I know there was a little field area kind of next to Huck's house, I think. So I'm going to go check that out and see if maybe that might be a better option. Um, and maybe we'll see something along the way, you know, like even that little spot over there might not be a bad choice, actually. Let's go check that out. This is actually not a bad spot at all. I mean, it's a little bit close to the Two Girls One Minecraft castle, which is kind of abandoned now or just owned by the community since they are no longer here. Uh, but with everything nestled so close together at spawn, I don't think it'll be too big of a deal for it to be right here. So I'll go ahead and get started terraforming and collecting some materials, and then we'll start building our home. Alright, I've got this terraformed a little bit, so now I kind of have a plan for what I'm going to do. There's going to be sort of a towery bit over here, and then it's going to connect to a kind of a small castle over here. So I want it to be small, I want it to be simple, I don't want to overdo it. It does feel a little bit too big at the moment, so I might move it a little bit closer to this side and then just let that side be more uh, natural, just mountainous. <laughs> good words, good words. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start gathering some stone as well as terraforming this a little bit more. There's also a little cave down here. Like right here. Uh, so I'll probably use this as part of the build and gather some stone from down here. So I will chime in as I make some progress. There's actually a whole other cave over here underneath this thing. I hear a baby zombie somewhere. Oh good, at least someone's been down here before. Oh, this is great though. So this will be, whoops, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> oh punk, <laughs> I will cut you. Uh, this will be a good spot for us to mine out some 
cobble though. Come here, guy. <laughs> it's like a labyrinth in here. Bring it. Thank you for the pants. All right, creeper over there. Need to make sure I know my way out. Okay, it's right over here. So I'm gonna stay close to here and go ahead and start gathering some cobblestone. Okay, we've got some cobble cooking up, getting us some stone so we can make some bricks and go ahead and start building our little castle. Now, uh, I hope to use other materials to probably fix this up later, um, but for now, we'll just use these basic materials. Actually, and I think I actually don't want to put those there because I want to let it have kind of a rounded shape. So we need it to be basically like this. Yeah, it's going to be a little tower, just a little one. Okay, and then we need more. Uh, while I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and talk just a little bit about uh, myself. So I've been playing games for pretty much my whole life. I grew up, you know, with a Super Nintendo, and uh, my dad played Command and Conquer and stuff on his computer. So I grew up playing those games whenever I could. Warcraft 2 <laughs> back in the day. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, I've been gaming for a long time and uh, I only more recently kind of started playing Minecraft. I think I want to make this a little bit bigger. It's a little too small because the tower is kind of like the main part of this. So we're just going to expand it a little bit. Yeah, I think this will work. Uh, we'll need to build this up just a smidge. Okay. There's one. But yes, uh, so Poet and Winter both got in touch with me. I've been playing Minecraft for quite a, a while now. Um, whoops. Oh, dang it. I don't have Silk Touch or anything yet. Um, what am I doing? Derp, 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 derp. Can't talk and play at the same time. <laughs> but yes, they got in touch with me about potentially joining this server. Um, I'm still kind of new to YouTube and to uh, streaming and stuff, sort of. I started doing it earlier this year, but then I had a huge break was it where I wasn't able to do anything. So I've only more recently gotten to start playing again and doing all that stuff. So anyway, uh, so being invited to this server was huge. You know, I've I've watched several of the guys on here play and um, stream and build and so it was definitely an honor to be asked to join um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about getting to play on a vanilla server. I've been doing a lot of modded Minecraft such as like Mod Sauce and Pixelmon uh, and I really haven't gotten to play vanilla in so long and I've missed it so I'm really excited to have a vanilla server to play on and to really get into the depths of vanilla <laughs> that tasty vanilla flavor uh, yeah, just really take advantage of what is here. I like the limitations of what you get to work with. I mean, with mod packs, there's so much there a lot of the time that you could just do anything you could imagine. But kind of like with design stuff, I really like having a limited, limited palette, limited work materials, because you have to be more creative with what you do with it. So I'm looking forward to doing that here, to being able to uh, explore uh, all the different things that we can do with what we have here. Um, along with that, I would really like to start doing some redstone. I know nothing about redstone, pretty much, and so it's been a huge weak point for me, I think, in Minecraft. So I would really like to 
take advantage of this opportunity to uh, start doing some exploration, trying to make some automated farms and stuff like that. That is my goal, I guess. Um, so yeah, so that's that's on the menu as well. <laughs> lots of lots of hopes and plan uh, tentative plans, but at the same time, like I really you know I want to have fun, and I don't want to stress too much about what I'm doing here. So as far as like having big major plans, I don't have those yet. I have a couple ideas of some things I want to build and things I want to make. But they're just ideas right now. They're not really plans. So, if you guys are okay with that, or if, more so if you're not okay with that, I guess, just let me know in the comments or something. Say, like, hey, you know, I'd rather you had a plan. <laughs> or if you have ideas of, like, things that you think would be cool for me to do in vanilla, you know, feel free to make a suggestion. I love suggestions and feedback. Uh, let's go ahead and start bringing this in. I think this is probably big enough. We don't want this to be very big. You know, it's supposed to be kind of a, I mean, it's my little starter home, so it's not supposed to be too enormous, enormous, en enamorous, whichever word you want to use. <laughs> uh, we're just... It's pretty simple too right now. I mean, I'll come in and do the fluff later. Right now I'm just kind of getting the layout. Let's get these guys bricked. We might want to go ahead and make some half slabs though, so let's do that. I do love me some good half slabs. Uh, so I think I want to use a half slab up here. I need... <laughs> I kind of need more dirt. <laughs> I always use dirt as like my scaffolding and everything. But I like these little windows. I kind of want it to have little windows that way you can see out. And then <clears throat> I think I'll do like a little thing like that. Yeah. I'm tempted to. Well, no, it's not like that in those corners. So we'll go ahead and do it like that. Actually, we may go ahead and just cover this whole spot. We probably will with a roof of some sort. Um, as inspiration for this, there's this castle in, I think, Ukraine called, I think it's like Sparrow's Nest or something like that. I just saw it online and I was like, ooh, that might be a really cool starter home to try and build. Just a little castle inspired by it. So that's what this is. That is what this is. Alright, I think it's coming along though. Making some good progress. <laughs> we do have this pink glass. We could totally use that for our windows. <laughs> I'm not really the biggest fan of pink, but we'll just put it in for fun right now. We'll, we'll trade it out with something better later. Alright, one of the things with this um, castle that I'm looking at is it has like a little uh, balcony type of deck that wrap arounds, wraps around the whole thing. So I would like to include that. I'm going to go ahead and use birch wood. I don't typically prefer birch wood for use with cobble, um, probably because of the color. Uh, I don't know why, but there's something about this color combination that isn't my favorite. But I think it's all right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an exception and just kind of see see what it looks like. If I hate it, I'll change it out later. Part of it too is like being right next to these builds, which I'll use the dark oak with the cobble um, or with the stone, which is my favorite combination. <laughs> Apparently it's everyone's favorite. So I kind of want to just bring in some variety, I think, as part of it. I want to try something a little bit different. Whoops. Dang it. I can't Minecraft sometimes. So I think this will help give it kind of that same look. 
Now I'm tempted to have it just kind of end over here. I could have it go all the way around, but I don't think I want to. We'll have it come here and then that'll that'll end it there. I didn't actually mean for that to be up one though. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, let's lose this guy. Yeah. Bring this out a smidge. There we go. So now we have this nice little wrap around deck type of thing. I'll probably put some sort of railing, maybe fence posts or something along the outside. But for now, we'll just leave it like that. Now, I think I do want to have access to it from inside. So I'm guessing I might just put one like right here. That way you can kind of go to it from right there. I think that should work. Should work. Uh, let's also bring in, I'm tempted to use the stone slabs in here as well. But I think I want to save that, reserve that for the floor, the floors. Um, so let's go ahead and get back our stone bricks. Build this up a little bit more. We'll probably put in a window somewhere up here. Now actually this end should be shorter. Now it's only three high right now though. So I think what I'll do bring it up one more and then we'll start a roof on this sort of room. Uh, let's get this in here. There's going to be a door there. Yeah, so I think this will work for this room. So that's going to be the height of this and then we'll have sort of a covered area over there and then keep going up with the tower. Put some little spiky bits up top. I think that will do it for that. Alright, I've got this kind of staggered right here, and I think I want to have like this be basically part of a wall that goes connects to this. And maybe maybe it'll be an outside wall. Like maybe it'll be accessible into the outside. I haven't quite decided yet. But yeah, we'll have this here kind of leading to this part of the tower as well. Remember, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and keep building this tower upwards. After we grab these bits, let's go ahead and check on our cobblestone too and make sure we have enough going. I also planted these birch trees here in order to get some more birch wood in case we need it, but there's a chance I may go ahead and leave some trees up here as well. I think that would kind of help Add, add to the overall atmosphere. But, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here for this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time as we continue building our spawn tower. See you later. Bye.